Hey guys, welcome back to another session on data structures and algorithms. So in this particular session, we will solve another problem based on matrix. So you will be given a n cross n matrix, something like this. All that you need to do is print all the border elements in the clockwise direction. So what exactly you have to print is if this is a given matrix, you need to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 10, 15, 20, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 16, 11 is what has to be printed. So you are printing all the border elements in the clockwise direction. So this is a problem statement and I hope this problem is easy for you and you will be capable of solving it by yourself. So I kindly request you to pause this video and then try to write the code by yourself. I hope you tried solving this problem by yourself. In case if you are not able to solve no problem, let's solve it step by step. So one thing that I would like to say is if you know how to traverse one dimension array then it's easy for you to solve this particular problem. All that you need to know is just traverse an array. So how would I solve this is see this as one big problem. Now this one big problem I am going to divide it into four different problems. How I am going to divide? Let me show you step by step. So the first thing is if you observe the first thing that I need to print is from year to year. I need to print all the elements in this first row. So if you observe this, all that I need to do is just traverse the first row. That's all I have to do and print all those elements while traversing. So how can I do this? One thing that you need to understand is this matrix is represented as a two dimension array or two dimension list, a list inside a list. So in this case, every element present inside this will have two indexes. For example, if I take this element one, it has zero and zero this element 2 if I take it's 0 and 1 if in element 3 it is 0 and 2 and goes on like that. Now how would I solve this is very simple. If you observe for all of these elements over here this row number is actually 0 and it remains constant for all of this but the column numbers keep on changing over here. So what I would like to do is since there are two indexes, I will take two variables one as i and the other one as j and i will take care of row and j will take care of the columns. Now in this particular case, the row number is constant that is zero. So i will remain constant. Next what happens is the value of j will actually keep changing. So from where to where the j value has to go, let's see. So the value of j should start from this particular index that is zero and traverse all the way till four. That is what has to be done. So I hope you already know how to traverse by writing a for loop. So what I would do is I will actually write i is equal to 0 and the value of j starts from 0 and goes all the way to the last index and last index is nothing but length of this particular array minus 1. So that's what I have to do to print all of these elements. Once I'm done with printing the first row, now what I need to do is I need to print this last column. So how do I print this last column? Very simple. Now again, if you observe all of these elements, there are two indexes for all of this. And if you observe this particular index that is 4 is actually constant for all of this. But these indexes vary for that particular column. So the column value actually remains constant, but the row value changes in this case. So what I would do is for columns, since I have taken J, I will make the value of J as the last index. So I should not directly write 4 rather I need to write it as a last index because this is 5 cross 5 matrix but they might give input as 100 cross 100 matrix or 1000 cross 1000 matrix or 2 cross 2, cross two matrix. So in all these cases it has to be satisfied. So what I will do is length of this array is nothing but 5, 5 minus 1 is nothing but 4. So what I need to do is the value of j I need to keep it as length minus 1. And the value of i if you observe it starts from 10. So what is the index of 10? It's nothing but 1. It starts from 1 and goes all the way till the last index and that's nothing but again length of this particular array. So that's what I'm writing it over here. So I hope these two half of the problem is already solved. Now all that I need to do is since I'm done with the first row and the last column now I need to print the last row. Now last row from where need I to uh, where, from where should I start? 25 is already done in this case. So I need to start from 24 then 23 then 22 then 21. So how do I do this? Very simple if you observe the row number is constant and what is the row number? Row number is 4 that's nothing but the last row. 
So for row, I have taken a variable i. So i, I will make it as last row. That's nothing but length minus 1. Next, the value of j varies. From where does it start? It starts all the way from 24. 24, what is the index? It's 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. So I can't directly write 3. I need to write in terms of length. And 3 is nothing but the last second index. So how do I get the last second index? Very simple. If you say length, you will get 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. So all that I need to do is, I need to start the value of j from length minus 2. Until where should I, the value of j go? It should keep on reducing. It should uh, uh, reduce by 1, reduce by 1, reduce by 1 and come till 0th index. So it should go all the way till 0th index. So I hope majority of the problem is completed. Now one small part is left out. I need to print from 16 to 6, 16, 11 and 6. How do I do this? Again, observe the same thing. Uh, so, pattern is this uh, column number is constant that is nothing but 0. So, for column I have taken a variable j. So, j I will make it as 0. Next, after that the row number. Row number it starts from 3 and I told you how can I get 3? Length minus 2. So, length is nothing but 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. So, I will say i starts from length minus 2 and goes all the way. It does not go all the way till 0. It goes only till 1 because 0th element is already printed. So, what I need to do is, I need to go all the way till 1, that is all. So, if I traverse like this and print 1 by 1, first I will write 1 for loop for this, 1 for loop for this, 1 for loop for this and 1 for loop for this. So, I will keep writing 1, uh, one for loop after another for loop. If I do this, definitely I will get all of these 4 lines. So, I hope the logic is completely clear to you guys. If you had observed me over here, what exactly I did is, one sim one big problem, I just divided into four different problems and when I divided into four different problems, the problem became very easy. So that's what you have to do in any of the coding questions. Any problem is given to you, divide that problem into smallest possible units and the problem becomes easy. And that's what has been done over here. I hope you will be capable of writing code for this. In case if you are not able to write code, do not worry, I will write the code for you now. Now let's write some code over here. So, what exactly I have done in this particular algorithm is, I have taken two variables, i and j, i takes care of rows, j takes care of columns and either i will traverse or j will traverse, any one will be traversing at a time. So, let us pick one by one. So, first I need to initialize two variables, so that is int i and int j. So, I will say int i is equal to 0, comma j is equal to 0. So, two variables I have already taken. Now, all that I need to do is start writing for loop one after the other. So, first I will take care of this for loop. So, where the value of i is constant. So, i is already constant that is nothing but 0. Then next the value of j should change from 0 till length. So, I will write one for loop. I will say for. Yes. And I will say uh, j I have already declared. So, I will say j is equal to. Yeah. I need to start from 0. So, I will start it from 0. And I need to go all the way till the last index. So, you already know how I can write that j is less than uh, ar dot length. Yes. Next uh, semicolon j plus plus. Yes. Now, I will come inside this and all that I need to do is system dot out dot print ln and what I need to print is the element present in the ith and the jth index. So, j i value remains 0 for uh, 0 to the complete uh, when the uh, loop executes completely and the j value keeps on changing. So, it is nothing but 0 comma 0 first, next 0 comma 1 that is 2, 0 comma 2 that is nothing but 3, 0 comma 3 it is nothing but 4, 0 comma 4 is nothing but 5. So, all these elements will get printed over there. Next, ar of i, j. Yeah. Next, I will come to next line. Yeah. Next, over here, this is the loop that I have to take here. Now, the value of j is actually length minus 1. So, it is basically starting from this, uh, it is nothing but this, that is constant. So, what I need to do is, I will reinitialize the value of j, I will say j is equal to ar dot length minus 1. So, ar dot length minus 1, great. Next one for loop I need to write where the value of i keeps on changing. So, the value of i from where is it starting? It is starting from 1 and going all the way to the last index. So, I will say, I will just duplicate this particular loop. So, I will duplicate this and then get it done. Yeah, great. Uh, leave this. Remove this. Key. Okay, fine. So, over here, the value of i is actually changing. So, let me replace this j as i over here as well and over here as well. Yeah, great. Now, all that I need to do is 
just change over inside so one more thing that i need to change is the value of i is not starting from 0 it's starting from 1 so i'll say i is equal to 1 great next i is actually uh, increasing so i is greater than length then i plus plus that's correct and just also that great next yes so i am done with this and this so basically i have taken care of printing the first row and the last column now i need to print the last row for last row the value of i is constant and what is the value of i length minus 1 so i'll say i is equal to a dot length minus 1 great next one more for loop so let me write the for loop yeah you can duplicate and bring it down and over here it's not value of i it's value of j so i'll change j three times over here and over here great next once this is done uh, one more change i have to do the value of j is not starting from 1 if you observe the value of j is actually starting from i should print from 24 to 21 so that's nothing but uh, ar of length minus 2 and that's what i have mentioned over here as well so ar dot length minus 2 is from that's not this one okay minus 2 so that's where it's starting and every time it's actually decreasing, it's not increasing, it's coming in this uh, value. So first it's 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. So I need to reduce this value. So j minus minus over here. I'll remove that plus. Okay, great. And uh, since I am reducing, the condition will definitely change. So I need to look, look in this particular direction. If you observe, first it's 3, then it's 2, then it's 1, then it's 0. So every time it's reducing. And if you see all of these values are actually greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0 as well, even 0 is considered. So I need to change this condition to me, j is greater than or equal to 0, great. Next I will come to next line, yeah, over here again the last row in the, sorry, uh, the last line is what I have to print and this is nothing but the first column is what I have to print in the reverse order. So, from, uh, what is constant over here? The value of j is constant and that's 0. So, I will say j is equal to 0. j is equal to 0. Great. Next, after this, what I need to do is, I need to write one for loop. So, I will write one for loop where the value of i actually starts from 3 and goes all the way till 1. Okay. i, it starts from 3. So, 3 I can't write directly. Rather, I need to write it as er dot length minus 2 and that's what I will write it ar dot length minus 2 great next every time the value of i if you observe it's 3 then 2 then 1 it's reducing 1 by 1 so i over here it's not i plus plus it's i minus minus and definitely the condition will change so first it's 3 then it's 2 then it's 1 so it's reducing so i need to change the condition as i is greater than 0 no need to equal to because i am not going all the way till 0 i am stopping over here in case if I had to go all the way to 0, all that I need to do is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is all the problem about all that I need to do now is just execute and check if I am getting the expected output or not. So, let me just save this thing and execute. Yes, if I observe I am getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 24, 23, 21, 16, 11, 6 and 6 is the last number. So, we got the expected output. So, in case if I had to print in the horizontal uh, order, you know very well, all that I need to do is just change this print ln to print and in all the print statements, I have to do this particular change. I hope you can do that change by yourself and in case, I, in case if you have not solved any other problems on matrix apart from whatever I have solved, make sure that you find some other problems and solve it. And one more simple problem that I would like to give to you guys is given a n cross n matrix all that you need to do is print the boundary elements but now i printed in the clockwise direction i want you to print in the anti clockwise direction the logic remains almost the same the way of printing is only changing i hope you will be able to write this code if you have enjoyed this video and would not like to miss any of our videos hit on the subscribe button and click the bell icon